This tutorial is going to be nice and quick, and I think it's actually a whole lot of fun to do as well, and it's how to create spirograph style images, just like what you see right here. And the setup is very easy to do. On your fill, make sure you don't have any fill selected, so just click on your fill, and then click on this white box with the red line going diagonally through it that says none, to make sure you don't have a fill selected. And you can change your stroke color to be whatever you want, I'll just set it to black. If you go to Window and then Stroke, you can bring up your Stroke window and change the overall thickness of the stroke to be whatever you want. I have it set to a half point right now. But actually making this happen is super easy. Just go over to your Shape Mode right here. It usually shows a Rectangle Tool by default. Click and hold that, and I'm going to select the Polygon Tool. The Polygon Tool tends to work really well for this. And to make this happen, all you have to do is click and hold the Tilde key, and that's in the upper left-hand corner of your keyboard. It looks like a squiggly line. I'll put an annotation on the screen of what it looks like. So click and hold that, and while you're holding that, click and hold your mouse to start drawing the shape, and then you can click, drag, and spin the overall shape to create custom spirograph style images, just like what you see right here. It's super fast and easy to do, and it actually has a very powerful effect. When you're done, you can go ahead and highlight the entire thing and change the overall thickness of the stroke to make it look different that way. And I'm actually going to click and hold over this shape right here and select the ellipse tool to show you something really cool with that one as well. So normally when you hold down the tilde key and you draw an ellipse, it'll make this sort of a shape, which I actually think is really cool in its own way, but it isn't quite the same thing as what you'd expect from a spirograph. So I'm just going to delete this quick. And this time with the ellipse tool selected, I'm going to hold down the tilde key. And then on a PC, I'm also going to hold down the alt key or if you're on a Mac, also hold down the option key. So hold down both the tilde and either the alt or option key when you're drawing. And what that'll do is draw the shape from the center point. So now when I draw this ellipse, you can tell that it makes a really cool pattern as I go through these different shapes here. And if I let go, we can see the final result, which is this really unique abstract shape that I think looks pretty cool. And of course, you can move quicker or slower to draw fewer or more lines, depending on the overall look that you want to give it. I'm just going to delete this and show you one more trick here. If I select the polygon tool and I click just once, it'll bring up this dialog box and you can change how many sides the polygon has. So if you want to make a perfect triangle, you can just hit three for the amount of sides, and it'll go ahead and draw one triangle. You can just select this with your selection tool, delete it. And now the next time I select the polygon tool in my shape menu here, and I hold down the tilde key to start drawing these shapes, it draws it in a triangular shape extra way to go ahead and add a little bit more versatility to what you're doing to make some really unique shapes that go beyond the standard shapes inside Illustrator. Another one that works really well is of course the star tool and the star tool works just the same as the overall polygon tool where if you want to make the star have more or less sides you can just change the number of points right here. I'm just going to leave it at five so it stays a star. So with the star tool selected I'm holding down the tilde key and I can just go ahead and very quickly draw a shape right here and you end up with this really cool spirograph style image. Something to note with these, it doesn't work particularly great with a rectangle tool. If I go ahead and just hold down both Alt and Option, here's the end result of that. I think these are kind of interesting, but not quite as interesting as the Eclipse, Polygon, or Star tools. I think those tend to work the best. But do remember when you're using the Ellipse tool, hold down both the tilde key, and then either Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac, and then draw from there. And then you can go ahead and just make the overall shape to whatever you think looks cool. And you end up with some pretty unique looking stuff that way. And of course, at any time, you can go ahead... Highlight over it, double click on the stroke color right here, make it a custom color if you want to go ahead and do that. And then you could even go ahead, change the color to be something else, and then draw a new shape over it to make an even more complex object overall. So working like that, you could end up with some really complex and unique shapes that have a lot of cool interactions with all the different colors you're using. But hopefully you found this video helpful. I actually think these are super fun to make, and they make for some interesting background elements. If you want some really cool geometric things to maybe place subtly in the background, or even just use these objects as they are because they are pretty sweet on their own, you can go ahead and do that super fast and easy. And if you liked this video, please hit like and favorite. And if you want to see more stuff like this every week, please subscribe. I do my best to put out new content just like this every week. Thanks for watching.